you're getting this video because you signed up for Fitness for Your Aging Brain. That's the free online class that's being funded partially by the Government of Canada's New Horizons for Seniors program. Every week you'll get a new class and we'll be using in the class a variety of equipment. Now we're not all in a big room, let's say in a gym together and I can just hand out equipment or spread out across the whole province. So it's going to be up to you to create your own little fitness kit. I've made it out of uh, common household objects and things you can probably steal from your grandchildren or maybe even from your dog. So the very first thing you're going to need is a cup and it is, it has no handle on it. It needs to be plastic or paper. So a paper or plastic cup, no handle. The second thing is something you can get at a dollar store or pretty well any uh, department store and it's simply an air filled bowl. It's approximately nine inches in diameter. If you have or know someone with uh, the little nozzle where you can take a bit of air out of the bowl, great, but if you can't, don't worry about it. A tiny beach ball will work as well. It's not as sturdy, but it will work. Uh, next thing you're going to need is a set of drumsticks. Now this is probably the most difficult thing to come by. You might find it in a toy store uh, or a department store in the children's department. Mine came, from, mine came from a music store. But if you go to the dollar store, they have wooden spoons and you can use the wooden spoon. Make sure you get the type with the long handle so you can choose to either cut the end off or just flip it over and hold it in front of the handle. The, the shaft itself needs to be about 12 inches long. The other alternative is simply going to your local hardware store and buying a little dowel and having them cut it into maybe 12 or 14 inch pieces. Make sure there's no slivers and it's safe. All right, next thing you're going to use, need is a ball. And this kind of ball, you need a ball that's gonna bounce and have enough bounce, dollar store again. Tennis ball works fine, but it has to have enough bounce that you can put it on the floor, it comes back, and you don't have to bend down to pick it up. All right, next thing we need is, now this, is actually what I'm using. It's a little rhythmic instrument that you get in uh, a, a music store. And so I want to be able to feel the vibration travel through my body and up and to cue my brain. So I've made one and everybody can just do this at home. It's really easy. I took a little plastic vitamin bottle. Don't use glass just in case we toss it and uh, it breaks. So a plastic vitamin bottle I have filled it only one third full of uh, beans or rice. So if you overfill it, you won't get a good shape. You want to go just one third to get that good vibration that will travel through your bones and your muscles. All right, next thing. This is something you probably um, don't have at home. It is a plastic cone, and you would actually find this in the exercise section of your dollar store. Uh, I, they had three of them for two dollars or something in my dollar store. But if you don't have one, it's easy to replace. So you go to your kitchen. This is a, a little funnel. I got, a, again, a dollar store folding funnel. It works fine. You could just use simply a plastic container or one of those little clear plastic containers that salad comes in that would work fine as well so just something that you can catch a ball in
Next thing you're going to need, speaking of balls, is one of my favorite things, and it will probably become one of yours as well. This is that old fashioned spiky dryer ball. It's super hard. And you can see, now you probably, or your neighbor has, one of these lying around in the laundry room because they get caught in the sheets roll out under the dryer and into the corners of the room so if you have one it doesn't have to be brand new that's perfect what you want what's important about this is we're using this for stimulation of our mechanoreceptors in our feet and getting our feet talking to our brain about our balance so the spike is important now look what i found at the dollar store the other day it is a dog toy and if you don't have one of those this will work lovely it's in the toy section and it is for your puppy to run around with but the spikes on the end they're not as good and they're not as solid and hard as the dryer ball but they will work just as well uh, the next thing we need is a loop band now these have become regularly available at the dollar stores. I saw them at three different dollar stores. They are just a stretchy band and they usually come in sets of two or three. If you do not or you cannot find one, you're going to take the top 10 inches off an old pair of pantyhose or the bottom 10 inches off of an old tight t-shirt with spandex in it. So I cut off, I cut it off here. This is an old t-shirt that had a little bit of a stain and I wasn't wearing it anymore. So I cut it off. That's about eight, 10 inches. And then now it's too long. The loop it only is about just short of shoulder width where this t-shirt, depending on your size, could be way bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little knot in the end doesn't matter the knot is unimportant we can use it just as well now I just want to have stretch so the t-shirt needs to have some spandex in it and you can get a really good workout with that now the last item is my favorite and it is uh, it's, it's called the Pilates ball it's a little weighted ball Inside there's a bag of sand with two pounds in it, two pounds of sand in it, and then it's got air around it. Now those you would have to get probably at a fitness store uh, or in the fitness section of a department store. They're harder to come by, but this is the ultimate recycling project. So you're, I'm going to show you how to make one and everything of everything in the kit. This is the, the, the only thing that requires really uh, any effort at all other than picking it up. So what I've done is I went to the basement when I was looking for spare dryer balls and there lo and behold is my husband's single old sock. That sock's been in there probably a year and a half looking for its mate and I've given up. So what I did is I am going to make a Pilates ball out of that sock. So you're going to need to watch how to make it nice and round and smooth. So you're going to grab yourself a nice solid Ziploc bag. This is a freezer bag. It is much stronger than a sandwich bag. If you're using a sandwich bag, I'd say do two or three. I put in it a cup of small beans or lentils. You could do a cup of rice. If you had sand, that would be perfect. It would be heavier. So uh, roughly one cup in there. So I put it to the bottom of the bag and then I've twisted the bag to get it nice and solid in there. And then I'm just gonna sort of squish the corners in and make it roundish. Now it's not gonna look super round yet. Don't worry about it. And you're gonna take that big long sock that you found in the basement. And you're going to shove that bag right, right, right to the very end. So there's, there's my bag tucked in right at the very end. So now you're going to grab the sock and you're going to twist it right 
where the bag is, as tight as you can. Put your finger on the twist. So there's the twist. I'm going to hold the twist down so it doesn't untwist. Put your hand in the sock. And then flip the sock back over the bag of beans. So there I go. So I've got that twist inside. Now I've got two layers of sock on it. And instead of having a knot, it's a nice smooth end. So now I'm going to round it out, make it as round and smooth as possible, and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to hold it from the top of the sock, and I'm going to twist tight, tight, tight. I, I'm just going to rest against my tummy here. Open up the sock, hold the twist down, and flip it back over. And you're going to end up with this at pretty smooth, easy to handle replacement for a Pilates ball. And that's it. And you've got two weeks to do it. We'll use two or three items every single class. The other thing you're going to need is a nice solid chair with legs rather than bars at the bottom. Something that does not have any arms because you don't want to bang your funny bone. Uh, at the bottom of the video, as I said, there, there will be the list and I'll bring the list up on the screen right now so you can see it. It should cost very little. You can use it for this, all the classes, and you can use it for our next series of classes, which uh, starts in January of 2023. All right, I am really looking forward to having you join me for Fitness for Your Aging Brain. It will be unlike any other class you've done, I guarantee.